Mm. Yes, Mr. <laughs> Eli. Naona kwa kilomita kilomita. Mm. Unajisikiaje? Fresh. You're good? Kabisa. Uh-huh. And mm-hmm. before you even continue further with the conversation, I know you guys can see her. She's fabulous. She's super amazing. Um there is your camera. Thank you. Yes. Uh we have Brit Brit the ruler. Brit the ruler. Why the ruler? <laughs> because I'm going to rule my own empire. And I want everybody out there who's trying to be successful, do whatever it is that, that they're trying to do, I want you to rule your empire too. No, she started with words of inspiration. I already know the reaction that you're going to have <laughs> during this interview. Yeah. Brit the ruler. Yes. You are, you are a rapper? A rapper. I just found out now. Singer. Singer. Yeah. I write my music. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do many things. I'm an art of all trade. So And you sometimes you touch the decks a little. Sometimes I touch the decks a little. I'm learning. I'm learning. Mm-hmm. I'm so practicing. that's what I was impressed about. Yeah. I was like, hey, what? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so where are you from? I'm originally from Victoria, Texas, but I resigned in Houston, Texas. Mm-hmm. Been there for over like 12 years. I lived a little in Miami. Then I came, I went Cairo, went to Egypt, and now I'm here in Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How long in Nairobi? Uh, I've been coming to Nairobi since 2018. Mm-hmm. 2018 is where it all started for me. I came down here and uh, it, it, I not, uh, well, it was, um, what was it? someone bought me here. It was a trip, like vacation, mm-hmm. came to the Maasai Mara, and I seen how beautiful it was, and I was mm-hmm. like, hold up, the way that they show Africa and America, you know, with kids, hungry, flies, the slums, you know, you look on YouTube, you see, I don't want to be racist, but, you know, mm-hmm. see the white people put the cameras out, you know, mm-hmm. on in the slums, so I was like, this ain't what it is. Mm-hmm. So I started the journey, I'm going to shoot a music video here. Mm-hmm. I want people to see what... Nairobi's about what Kenya is about, so mm-hmm. that's where it all started. So the first music video shot it in uh, that was 2018? twenty eighteen. Uh, twenty eighteen. Yeah, twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen. Uh-huh. I shot a video called Big Booty. <laughs> um, okay. I, I shot a video called Big Booty. We did it out in the in the forest. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out to Diddy. Diddy was the first actual uh, videographer who shot my video, and uh, went from there. Mm-hmm. And then we took myself, well, we went on a media tour. And from, from there, just, it was like, do you know who Cali Graf Jones is? I was like, no, who's Cali Graf Jones? You should check him out. Mm-hmm. That's where it started. You shared the last, the same last name. I know. So that's really what <laughs> caught my attention. I was like, I was like, Cali Graf Jones, Brittany Jones. I said, and he raps like Eminem, mm-hmm. looks like 50 Cent. I said, oh, Americans will love him. I said, find me Cali Graf Jones, and mm-hmm. I went on a hunt for Cali Graf Jones, mm-hmm. and that's how it happened. How did you get him? How yeah. did I, huh? No, no DM, DMs don't work. Uh, I had to get someone to basically find him for me, get the number, mm-hmm. call him, set up a meeting, and I went to his office and met with his manager, and we met, and he loved my song, Take Your Chick, and we just went from there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've, I've, I've listened to the song. We're actually going to play it um, later on. Okay. It's actually dope. I was, uh, I, was, I was impressed. I was like, okay. At first, wait, at first I thought you are a Kenyan, <laughs> but with a <an> heavy accent. Because <laughs> you have assimilated well with Kenyans. Let me ask you this. So when you hear me talk, is it, do I sound country? Because where I'm from in Texas, we talk really, really slow. Mm-hmm. To y'all, I'm talking really, really fast. And our English sounds the same, but I guess the British, the English, your English is different from ours mine. Is, ours is different. Ours yeah. we talk, uh, they call it the dictionary English. Okay. Yes, but yours is really fast. Slang, I talk a lot of slang. Yes. You know, back down south, we say, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> 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 All right. Anyway, they usually say when you come to Kenya, you'll always have to always come back. Over oh, and yeah. Over. It's addicting. Mm-hmm. It's definitely addicting. I love coming here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what do you like uh, or what do you envision yourself talking about in your music? Honestly, um, I was rapping, so I kind of had a change of heart. You know, the older you get, kind of want to change. And I, I started with Afrobeats, I started doing some Afrobeats. So when you hear my new music, you'll hear my new sound, me singing more. I'm not really rapping, but hey, it is what it is. So mm-hmm. I'm just trying to go with the you know, the culture. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong, I love hip hop, mm-hmm. but 
hip hop, you know, it is where it's at right now. It's a lot of beefing. <laughs> right. I kind of grew from the, you mm -hmm. know, talking about big booties and all that stuff and take your chicks and stuff. So I've kind of grew up so I'm so mature. So mm -hmm. yeah. um, hip hop, uh, mostly even here in Kenya, yeah. it's mostly associated with activism. Yes. Like uh, people like to use hip hop to pass out a certain message either to the government, to the society. Uh, the beefing is not that much. Right. Uh, it's not sometimes it's not even real mm -hmm. it's just writing uh lyrics but i don't know in the u.s it's different yeah right now in the beef u.s the that's beef. what's going on right now in 2024 it's been uh -huh. up it's been a lot of uh, exposing people mm -hmm. 2024 has been about exposing the fakes and just i mean you actually see what's going on with kendrick lamar and drake mm -hmm. i woke up what it was yesterday yes when, uh -huh. when the protesting was going on kendrick lamar had the whole internet shook up with his concert because Actually, <laughs> what happened um, is a Kenyan took uh, Kendrick's verse uh -huh. and then edited the video uh -huh. with shots of uh, what we are talking about. So if it's the president, if it's the MPs, the politicians, and then changed the lyrics a little bit. So when you listen to it, you could actually relate to the current situation. Are you going to have to show me that one? I haven't seen it just yet. I will show it to yeah. you. <laughs> All right. What do you think about the protests that happened uh, i'm sure you have been following them yeah and largely it was a group of age group called gen z mm -hmm. and this is the first time they actually came up right and started speaking for their rights and started going to the streets before they used to do online activations so people was just saying their hashtag guys they never come out of the house but we saw them coming out yeah is it much different from the u.s what age group protests in the u.s Okay, so normally when we protest, you know, it's usually the killings, you know? Um, you know, when the police officers kill a black person, then you'll see us protest and you'll see the riots, you see all the crazy stuff. Here's a little bit different because you guys are coming out about this bill. Um, for me, um, I'm glad that the youth are coming out and speaking and standing up for their rights because they are the future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, politicians, they say one thing, get you to vote for them. They get in the house and then they don't do what they say. So, of course, the Gen Z see that, see what's going on and they're tired of it. And they see what's going on with their grandmas, mamas, their aunties, and they don't want to go through it. So they have every right to step out and protest and protest peacefully if they're not. Uh, you know, breaking windows, stealing stuff, doing things that you do see in America. <laughs> uh -huh. They're not doing that, then let them be, you know, uh -huh. let them speak their, their voice. It's freedom of speech. You know, I come from a country where it's freedom of speech. So let people speak, mm -hmm. you know, if you can grab the mic and go on TV and tell lies, why can't they come out in the middle of the streets where um, to speak their mind? It shouldn't mm -hmm. be a problem. I hate seeing the chaos. I think it's it's crazy. Oh, yes. You know, the tear, gas, yeah, the tear gas, the tear gas, the itchy water, mm -hmm. all that. That I mean, yesterday I was just watching it online like what in the heck is going on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so but did you see the creativity of the young people in terms of protesting? The no. messages, the memes. Man, no, no. I've seen people holding up signs. You know, it's in Swahili, so excuse me, y'all. I don't really <laughs> understand Swahili. I'm getting <laughs> there. I'm getting there. But Kenyans, Kenyans are very good with creating memes. Yeah. And when it comes to creativity, I mean, they don't, they don't hold back. Yeah. They have the best, the most funniest, hilarious uh, taglines out there. Uh, they'll dress the most funniest when it comes to protesting and even trying to get the attention of the media and the social media yeah. uh, as well. All right, so where can we get your music online? Okay, you can get my music on Apple, Spotify, YouTube, anywhere there. There's music, Boomplay. I'm on Boomplay. Um, anywhere. I'm basically anywhere. And it's Brit the Ruler, B R I T T. T H E R U L E R and my YouTube it it got hacked so you won't see my big booty video and the one that I did with Calligraph bounce I got some issues that I got going on with somebody so they wanted to be funny and take down my videos but they what can't happened? stop me. Can, can you can tell me? I no longer wanted to work with them no more mm -hmm. and then kind of had my account joined together and it changed my password locked me out of it so they were being petty and took my videos down you know in the music industry um artists go through a lot 
a lot of people don't know what we go through behind closed doors, especially when you're doing business with other people. It could be your manager. It could be somebody that maybe, you know, someone's writing your music. Um, what else? Somebody that puts some money up for you, you mm -hmm. know. Um, that's kind of why you seen me take a break. Mm -hmm. I took a break from music because it's stressful. It'll drive you crazy, especially mm -hmm. when you know you got talent and you know that you can go places with it. And people just trying to just manipulate you. So um, I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go work my butt off, work hard, mm -hmm. stack my money up, and yeah. come back and be a beast. Mm -hmm. So that's what's been going on lately. And then my YouTube got, I mean, excuse me, my Instagram got hacked as well. I had a big uh, Instagram um, page, but that got hacked. So, <laughs> so I'm basically starting all over again. But you know what? Hacked over and over. Yeah, but you know what? Numbers don't make me. I've, social media don't make me. YouTube don't make me. Those numbers don't make me. I am who I am. And if you know me, you like my music, you rock with me. Follow me. It's Brit the Ruler Music on uh, Instagram and YouTube. The Ruler Gang, or, or you can just type in Brit the Ruler. You'll find me. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Maybe as we wind up, um, who is your target? I was in. Is it the Kenyan market, African market, the U.S.? It's the African. What? It's everybody. I'm, I'm an international artist. I just uh -huh. don't see myself just Kenya. Kenya just gave me that that start, you know, mm -hmm. opened the door for me, you know, with Afro. But I plan on working with Nigerians, you know. Mm -hmm. I already have, a, a, so I'm planning on working with everybody, South African, mm -hmm. whoever's willing to want to work with me. You like my sound. You like my vibe. You want to get with me, you can hit me in the DM. Mm -hmm. You know, reach out. Um, I, I like the new artists that are coming up. I like mm -hmm. the Gangaton sound. I uh, like it which all. Which song are we listening to currently? <laughs> <laughs> or which artist? Let me make it general. <laughs> Don't do that to me. I like that TikTok song. Uh -huh. TikTok. Uh, uh, Dana Pena, because we talk. Yeah, yeah that's my You've song. You've heard that? Yes, that's what you're going to be playing. <laughs> <laughs> That's my song right there. All right, there. thank you so much for coming yeah, through. Absolutely, thank you for having me. I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Ailey is going to yeah. cue uh, the TikTok song for us, right? Yes, I will. Yes, yes, and you can actually follow Mr. Ailey at DJ? At I am Mr. Ailey. At I am Mr. Mr. Ailey. Yeah, man. DJ, I'm a Mr. DJ. DJ. I am DJ Ailey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> My handle is at Masaikta. We are going to take a short musical break, but we will be right back. <laughs>